message that messages that our dreams are not going to fit within their ballot boxes. The point of that message is that representative democracy does not work. Uh, there are no real choices when you elect officials that are leading a country to wars around the world. The only real choices uh, within that framework are only going to further uh, those policies. And we're advocating for direct democracy uh, where people, individuals, are representing themselves in forums that are real, that are authentic, and where dissent and uh, new creative ways to envision society can happen. Political power in the hands of a very small minority of, of people. An aggressive independent media could have stopped a war. An aggressive independent media could have stopped a war. Could have stopped a war. And they, they fell down on that. I'm ordering you to leave this roadway and sidewalk immediately. Oh, 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 oh.
Grand Theft Oil. Grand Theft Oil. I see everybody's fingers up in the air like this. I'm not just asking you to put them up. Matter of fact, I'm saying, look at that building right there. How can you see that building right behind us and all the lines that's going down and not put these two fingers up in the air? The whole world is watching. Vote or die is real, y'all. Vote or die is real, y'all. I am very excited about Still We Rise, the coalition. I think it's one of the best things to come out of all of this organizing against the Republican National Convention. Woo! mobilizations that have happened over the past few years kind of missed the point in a lot of the ways where lots of activists from out of town will come and descend upon a city and we set up all the rest of these kinds of things that we need in order to be here but we rarely ever actually connect with the communities who live in the cities that we go to and even more rarely do we actually tangibly benefit them in any way and New York is a place where most of my family is from and I grew up here when I was younger and there's a lot of people in the city that are doing really badass community organizing every day, all the time, and fighting to survive every day. This is your world and not theirs. Saga continues. The platform. Spend all this money in two days.
There's all your raises. I'll be spent right in there. All your money. Give y'all all your money. Chris Tate and my brother's uh, serving in Iraq on a fool's errand. He, uh, he, he arrived, he went in uh, January. He's been there since. He's at uh, Camp Anaconda. It's just north of, uh, apparently north of Baghdad. And what's happening here? Um, well, right now, you know, they're trying to keep the oil flowing. But, uh, there's, uh, you know, I think they're having a lot of trouble with it. He's trying to get water back in, you know, for people, things like that. He's not happy about being there. He's not happy about the way things are being managed from, uh, you know, from the administration down. Um, but definitely had to come here. And so all the people in Iraq, all the civilians who can't be here, I, we need to be here to, to show them that America is not the way it's portrayed by the government.
for example, were used to look at the dangers of depleted uranium weapons, which were used so... said, coming to town on thousands of protesters. So far, so good. This is good for Bill O'Reilly. All true up to this point. <laughs> Continuing. Some of whom are terrorists themselves. <laughs> election where the corporate owned mass media is so openly biased towards one candidate. I've never seen this before. Arnold Schwarzenegger last night saying to see him going like this. Ever seen films of Mussolini talking? Same thing. Shut up and shop. Shut up and shop. There's been a lot of talk, and there will be more talk tonight, about holding corporate media accountable. I think, I think we have to look beyond that, because in this day and age, when the board of directors interlocks with people who sell bombs, nuclear weapons, and junk food on a daily basis, we got to look beyond that and move around corporate media completely. As I've said so many times, don't hate the media, become the media! So I voted the party wagon yesterday for saying we wanted the truth from Fox News, and then went out into the convention floor yesterday, and when Arnold Schwarzenegger was speaking, put out a banner that said, Hello, life! Stop the killing in Iraq! The airways are ours, and we want to say in who gets to use them, and how they use them. from all sides of the political spectrum, people from all over America do not want these corporations to be more powerful. They do not want a corporation like General Electric, which makes billions of dollars off of the war in Iraq, to also be telling us what is going on in Iraq. Yeah. Yeah. about housing, you care about the concentration of ownership of media, and you care about the environment, you care about what is happening with the corporations taking over the media. Michael Powell, son of Colin Powell. When Michael Powell came to the FCC, he had a plan. His plan was he was going to ignore the victory that we had won which was to put low power stations in every community around the country. But what he was going to do was he was going to make sure that his friends at Fox, at CNN, at the Tribune Company, at all the media moguls, they could merge at will. And while our community radio stations would run, would wait for two years, three years, four years to get a radio license, his big plank was that he was going to make sure that if a corporation came that wants to merge with another corporation, if uh, Microsoft wanted to buy NBC, if anyone wanted to buy anyone, they would get in and out of that Federal Communications Commission in two weeks. Say hi to massacres. We're going to have plenty more disasters. Environmental devastation is not going to end. It's going to get worse. We're not the violent ones. The violent ones are having a convention in our city. Unifying voice, no matter what issue you work on, the war, the environment, 
questions they're asking is, what are you going to buy? They're not asking us questions about why we're here. Stop the lies, Democratic media now. Let's try 